Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play um, Hylix 2. Is it going to load up? There it is. Oh my god, that is wonderful. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> okay, so a little bit of context here. I, th I Let's Played the original Hylix, I think, last year. Um, it might be one of my favorite, like, indie games. It's an RPG Maker game, um, with a very, like, surrealist kind of tone, and all of the graphics are done in claymation. The dev has been working on a sequel to this game for the longest time. It just came out today, as of the time I'm recording this. Um, it's not made of RPG Maker anymore, so it's a little outside my comfort zone, but, my god, I'm, 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 I'm still super excited to try this. I've told so many people this might be like a week one let's play because I've just been really looking forward to this. Um, I did play like the first 30 seconds just so I can get the game to launch in windowed mode because that's easiest for me to record when it's doing that. Um, and also apologies if the audio feels a little weird right now. I I have never recorded this game before so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, I will probably adjust it a bit after the first episode. <laughs> um, just so... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm too excited for this. Is it weird that this is like my most anticipated game of this year? We got the default controls here. It's a jump key. Oh yeah, this reminds me a little bit of like Light Crusader, for as odd as that made sound. Just in terms of like, you know, the, the almost like deliberately weird jumping in like the eight-way directions and stuff. Let me just check some options real quick. Well, it's still an RPG, it's just not made of RPG Maker. Okay. Uh, Flesh and Will is um, Health and Magic. I forgot what power is. If you become trapped, use this to return to a prior spawn point. Okay. The crystals did warp you in the first game. Uh, garb is Equipment. I only have two this time. Interesting. Gestures. I'm going to assume that's like Magic. Dissolution. Inflict Dissolute status on a target, reducing its power by 20% and damaging flesh over time. Okay, so it's like Burn from Pokemon. Uh, can I make a save here? Four slots, nice. I think that's it for now. Um, oh my god, I love the music of this series too. Wayne's house looks so different. <laughs> I remember how simple it was in the original. You can pet the dog in Hylix too, at least I think that's a dog. Whoa! Okay, that's different. Wait, how'd I do that? Wait, he has a family in this game? Back when the, accel uh, the acceleration hit, the strongest gesture was buried. Okay, so is the super move going to be hidden in this game too? That's a coin. I heard that uh, TVs bestow techniques to, of gestures in combat. Oh, right, right, right. You had to... Oh, my. You have to examine every television you find in Hylix because that's how you get your magic. From, um... Horomer Bleb. Okay. Uh... How did I kill you again? Okay, it was X. Let me, um, like, play around some of the controls real quick. Custom controls. Run. Z is run, okay. Is a dodge button? That's not too out of the ordinary. Um. Oh. What'd I do? Restore to default. There we go. Oh, exit. Whoa. I saw, like, in the trailer that this game also has, like, traditional, like, RPG battles, but it also has, like, like, action RPG, or, like, action segments, and I'm assuming that's what the dodge is for. You became clean. Okay, I think that was like a heal in the original. Looking at some trailers, it seems like clean as a status element in this game though. Maybe it's a bit like regen. I didn't quite pay attention to what it did. Ooh, we got a basement. 
Oh my god, I I look at the light. Like I love the 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 visual style of this game. Uh, juice was basically your normal potions in the original. You found it empty. <laughs> Knowing this game, that's probably an item. Let's see what that is real quick. I don't open the menu again. Q. Oh, okay. I don't know what leak is. Maybe that's just another. Okay, so it's like an antidote, basically. That also cures. Um, that also cures. Uh, cures your. Pools of fountains are linked to the afterlife. From there, you may return to any such pool you've previously entered. I mean, slowly sink down into the <laughs> into the void. Oh my God! Yes. Oh. I just don't say he takes his glove off when he slaps. That's kind of interesting. Wayne is such an interesting protagonist I've always wanted to know more about. I, I do love that you can pet these things. You might be able to hear some keyboard clacking on my end. I, I, I promise I'll, I'll experiment a bit after this. Oh. Machines up the stairs. Warp pulls past that. Welcome to the afterlife. Okay. God, it, it, it's like this game was made for me, I swear to god. These Wayne larvae have just emerged. That'll um, that'll be sent on, on to the house where their uh, like car repairs harden, harden up. So like, are they making other copies of me? Hmm. On a burrito. What are you? But, oh, okay. I think meat was like a currency. Or was it tied to leveling up? No, 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 oh, oh, no, you know what meat did? Okay, in the afterlife in the first game, there was like a meat grinder. Um, and if you brought meat that you found to it, it would like permanently increase your health. Because like level ups were handled really weirdly in the first game. It was like, you didn't gain levels by leveling up, instead you just gained more health by dying. And then like taking the meat you found from enemies and then like converting that into health for yourself and your party member. It was very strange. Clean means respite from bad statuses for a little while. Please go ahead. Okay, so it prevents you from getting statuses. Can you cut these down to get vegetables? No, you could in the first game. Hey, I'm using this one. Find your own. What is it? Is that the meat grinder? Yep, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, raising your health works exactly the same in this game. Oh my god. Like, there's actual scrolling on these things now. It feels like these are actual, like, 3D models, but I don't know if they are or if, like, it's just clever 2D tricks. Let's go to Wayne House. <laughs> okay, that's a bit better of a way to do that. So then I just assume I fall in and I just go to it. Okay, fair enough. I have no idea what the plot of this game is going to be, by the way. The plot of the first one, I remember, like... All I remember, really, is that you found four friends, or three other friends, and that... Why are there so many of me? And that, like, you needed to feed this guy called Gibby, who may or may not be related to you? Wayne is an anthropomorphic moon, if you can't tell by the head, and Gibby was like a full moon. Okay, I saw in the trailer that you can do, like, a mid-air charge. I'm assuming doing the dodge roll in mid-air is what would do it, but apparently, man, I might have not access that ability yet. The stars forecast a flourishing of prescribed gestures. Gibby's agent works to re um to reconstitute their master. Okay, so Gibby has returned this game. Proceed west and seek our ally, uh, Blurrell, that he might be forewarned. Alas, the others haven't completed their training, so you will go alone. Why are there so many of me? Hmm. Like, one day I want to, like, sit down and, like, analyze what everything in the series means. I think in the original, if you had some Snosa, 
in your party, you could kill those bugs and, like, get stuff from them? Change appearance. Whoa. That, like, looks a little closer to what he looked like in the first game. Or I remember there were a few characters that wore, a, like, I don't know, is that a poncho? I kind of like the leather jacket look more. I kind of wish it wasn't as washed out, but, or... I don't know, like, like it's just, like, flat black with, like, a bunch of dots on it. I kind of wish there was a bit more, like, a texture to it, if you know what I mean. By holding down the jump button, one may slow their descent. After many years of training, of course. Okay, so you have a hover in this game. Did you, um, talk to Old Wayne? Up on the roof. Had a task for you. This is a good tutorial area. Old Wayne says we've got to be ready in case Gibby's recon uh, reconstituted. Do you think it'll be, uh, I'll be able to rule as well as you if I keep training? Old Wayne says I can leave the house then. Combats can often be avoided by rolling. Is the rolling faster than your run speed? It's like a little bit of a delay after using it. Oh, you just walk off the map to exit. Ooh. Oh my god, this is cool. Old Wayne said to go to the west, but there's not really much... You can drown. Okay. Hmm. Did that do any damage to me? No, it didn't. Okay. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Like, I got, I love the visual style of this game, I really do. What do you want? Those who um, possess Phenomophore may cross the sea, north of Vuax's edifice. So I gotta find Newfax's edifice, apparently. Oh, there's a town up there. This already looks nothing like the map from the first game. Maybe it like it's reshaped every year or something. I don't know. All right, where are we now? You can't slap in midair. Okay, I just wanted to test that. Oh, and here's another warp point. Oh, I come here every time I use a warp point. Okay. Well, let's run back up real quick. Oh, yep, use the run button. Why I don't like the run animation. <laughs> it looks very goofy. Why well, always like struck me as a very stoic kind of character. I don't know. Not really a goofy one, just kinda like weird. New Moldel. God, that's kinda creepy how you just slowly sink into it. I feel like I'm gonna die if I jump in there, but no, it's it's a warp point. That kind of oddity is something you would only get from a game like this. Like, again, I can't emphasize just how special this game is to me, or the first one is. It's locked. Okay. Okay, I can't kill those things. They're probably just, like, animals. You know, they look animal-ish enough, I guess. Oh my god, what are you? It all happened so suddenly. Uh, view, uh, Voax's troops abducted the cafe owner. Without coffee, we'll be defenseless against spores. Oh, okay. Now I'm the cafe owner.
Oh. Oh, I fell in the water. Okay. Long ago, Lord G um, Gibulus wisely ruled this land. That prosperous era was cut short by wretched anarchists. Yeah, one thing I remember about the first game is that some of the audio, uh, some of the dialogue is like randomly generated. Also, like I'm being like, did you see me move very slightly there? I wasn't pressing a direction. It seems like some, like s like some of the slopes in this game are actually slopes. How is this game coded? Oh my god, this blows my mind. Uh, Call the Might Husbandry brought us prosperity, but um, also made us a target for opportunities like Vurox. Whoa. You have, like, Destus Mulan's head from the first game. Destus Mulan, how's it go? Oh, that is Destus Mulan! Okay. No, I am... Smundula Day. Wait. Smaloon Day? Desus Mulan went north, across the ocean, chasing rumors of an of active cabinets. That does sound very like him. I mean, he did... His entire... He joined your party just so he can look for, like, water fountains in the first game. As our med um, meditations turn more practical, bodies become largely superfluous. So that's a person, apparently. When Acceleration buried the sage's great ship, um, Dislarn Moon. My wife and I were st uh, stranded here on the surface. Those are in the foreground. Oh, I can just jump down, okay. Suitcases. Remember, these always had good stuff. Found boots. Is that an equip? These nondescript boots offer a modicum of protection. So, more flesh and speed. Okay. My speed stat started at zero, which I find kind of weird. I don't think I've ever seen that in an RPG before. Hmm. Oh, you can kill those. Okay. Slapping bugs is a great way to restore your flesh and will. Try it out sometime. Oh, so it does give you stuff in this game. Also, are those, like, literally giving me coins? I have ten bones. I don't know where I got them. That, that's what the currency is in this series. Or, I, I, it's, I forgot if it was the currency in the first game. Oh, I love the sound it makes when you pick them up. I should have talked to that guy before. Whoa, that's a cool effect. When Hythams in Arfrondos, the harvest time's upon us. That almost rhymed. Sometimes we find them too late, and then you just have to tear them out before they turn bad. You hate to see that. The fronds are obviously valuable, but it's important to trim them anyway, so you don't get pool men. <laughs> Dare we get pool men. God forbid we get Pullman. Um, Hythahems? They're him rich cave formations. You're just hearing about now? Glove lathing. Burrito synthesis. All starts with Hyphlem. Found uh, Find a rich vein translates to a lot of bones. A lot of bones. See, the thing I love about this series is that, like, God, it feels weird referring to Hylix as a series now, but I kind of love it, too. <laughs> like, it, it all sounds like nonsense, like what these people are saying, but, like... Oh my god! What?! <laughs> oh, I love the enemies in this game already! Look how that guy is, like... Cave Cinecast and Tyro. I love how they're both animated. I just want to look at this. Yes, he still snaps to attack. I love that. 
Glaive Arc. Okay. Try one of our gestures. I can do this three times. Good, okay. Yeah, because if you're just going to attack me, I want to lower your... Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay, so I remember the first Hylix started pretty rough as well, because it had like... It had like very slight... Oh, oh yes, that makes me defend too. It had like very slight... Um... Like open worldy mechanics to it. But this also meant that you could get... Upcakes. Oh, they can heal. I might die here. Can I run from fights? Hmm. Okay. I gotta defeat this thing. Oh, they only did 10 damage. Oh, they can call more enemies! And that defeated him, or that killed him. <laughs> I love the little remains of the opponent just like floating off into the ether. No, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, okay, this is classic Hylix right here. You're gonna lose a lot in this game very early on. His face could have oh, oh my god, they brought that back and it looks more fabulous than ever. I love that. Press accept to continue. I must accept my death. I love that, like, your face melts when you die and then you get sent to the afterlife. <laughs> is it weird that I kind of like how this is handled in the first game, though, where, like, you know, you don't have access to the afterlife until you actually die? At that point, it's like, yeah, of course there would be an afterlife. I don't know. Like, it, it just felt really cool to me how it was handled. And I had no meat on me. Meat is a very common drop in the first game. It was dropped by pretty much any enemy. I'm gonna go to New Moulton. Well, okay then. Hmm. We're a little over 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna leave it off here. I'm gonna see how well this record and if I need to like change any options or anything. Uh, thanks for tagging along for this Let's Play. I am excited to see where this game goes. Because <laughs> I love Hylix and I cannot believe this game got a sequel. Oh my god, I love this game. Alright, I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.